In a previous video, we installed a NVIDIA Quattro FX 4600 video card, and we launched Media Composer and saw that Media Composer did launch, but it did not recognize the Quattro FX 4600 as a qualified GPU. So in this video, we are going to modify the qualified GPU list for Avid Media Composer. So in order to do that, you would come to your C drive program files, Avid, then Avid Media Composer, Supporting Files, Config, and right here is your qualified GPU board's text document. So first you need to know that what I'm about to do is not approved by Avid and you can mess up your Avid Media Composer install and maybe your entire computer. But many Media Composer users have known about this method for quite a long time and some people even report success with getting Media Composer to recognize a GeForce card as a qualified GPU. And if you are a Media Composer user, you should know that only Nvidia Quattro cards are qualified for Avid Media Composer and not even all Quattro cards, just a select few. Now before I start modifying this text file, I'm going to save this unchanged file onto another hard drive first. So I'll just drag it over here. We'll make a copy on a completely different hard drive. That way, just in case I mess something up, I can quickly just pull that file back in. Okay, so let's open up our text file. Now we're going to modify it so it will hopefully recognize the Quattro FX 4600 as a qualified video card. So what I'm going to do is put a space right here. I'm going to highlight this, copy it, then I'll paste it right here. And now I'll simply change a couple numbers. Change that to 4600, this to 4600, and I'm actually going to leave out the driver version. You can see up here that if driver version is omitted, then all drivers are accepted. Okay, so there we go. We'll close down our text document. And it's going to ask me if I want to save. So I'll say save and say, yes, I want to replace it. So now it's telling me access is denied. So what I'll do is save this file on the desktop, save. All right, I'm going to take this file here and delete it. And I'll take the one from my desktop and drag it in. There we go. So now if we open this file, we should have our 4600 right there. All right, so we'll close that down and we'll launch Avid Media Composer and see if we have a qualified GPU. And right there we can see qualified GPU. So it looked like our changes worked. And if you remember, we didn't even put in a driver number. So we can see here that I just have the 4600, no driver number listed. You see these here are showing that the 310.90 is qualified. I did not even put in a driver and still that driver comes up as qualified. And the driver I'm using, I believe is 33165, which is current for the month of November in 2013. So that is how you would modify the qualified GPU board's text file for Avid Media Composer. And once again, this method is not approved by Avid. Do this at your own risk because it might mess up your computer and it's not approved by Avid. But those are the steps you would take to get Avid Media Composer to recognize whatever video card you have as an approved GPU.